Wow and welcome back to Never Out of Fashion on Weekend on Wheels and I'm Girish. Never Out of Fashion is taking a total turn in Europe itself. The last motorcycle which I did was um, Lamreta. Here the card on the top if you want to look at it. And today from um, uh, Italy I'm going all the way to Czech. And um, let's see what do we have here in Czech uh, to check out our Never Out of Fashion. And I'll see you guys right after this intro video. Another episode of Never Out of Fashion on Weekend on Wheels and I'm Girish. You heard that sweet, sweet sound that this motorcycle does. So yes guys, this is a Java 353 model and this has been converted into a Penelka International model. Now to give you a little brush up on history, what Java stands for or what is Java? So Java is a collaboration between two people. One German guy called Wanderer and a Slovakian guy called Jansek. So Wanderer was from Germany and during uh, the Second World War, he came up with this particular engine called 353, who was a very, very big motor motorcycle enthusiast. And uh, somehow he made his way all the way to Slovakia and happened to meet Jansek, and who was equally passionate and a automobile uh, enthusiast and together they formed a company called Java that's Jansik and Wanderer is Java so this is what it stands for so the 353 model was developed and um, was developed by Wanderer during the second world war and after the collaboration between these two people it went into mass production and uh, rest you know what Java did so let's get into the 60s now in 1960, Faru Kirani bought this motorcycle to India and Ideal Java assembled the entire motorcycle as a CKD in Mysuru under Jai Chamaraja Odeyar um, dynasty. So that is when this motorcycle was available in India and thanks to Faru Kirani for getting such a beautiful motorcycle to us and um, you know we are happy to even see such motorcycle and lucky to ride such ones. So that's what I can say. And um, Without wasting any time, let's get a little up close and a little personal with this motorcycle and tell you the entire key or the most important things about this motorcycle. All that uh, shots that I had to show you about this motorcycle. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what this motorcycle is and uh, why you need to know about this motorcycle or what you need to know about this motorcycle. Let's start it. So this is a very very unique property to this motorcycle. So this is a Java 353 version or the 353 model which does not come with this kind of um, dome or the setup. This comes with the setup where you can see the handles completely but this is called the Penelka model. So the owner of this motorcycle has took the effort and time and money to get this um, all the way from Slovakia and upgrade this uh, version to a panel car version and if you look at the instrumental cluster or the Odo so this reads the other way around so it does not read from the left to right but from the right to the left hand side so that's what it reads and uh, if you look at this this is a very very unique uh, uh, key uh, what you can say the reason is you not only start this motorcycle with this key but also use it as a high beam or the turn on uh, button for your headlight. So if you turn this round this way, 
you turn on the headlight and if you look at the left hand side you have the horn which is this and then you have the dim and dip and um, like the previous um, never out of fashion which i did on a lamrator even this motorcycle does not have an indicator apparently hand signals were the best way um, to ride this motorcycle and uh, this reads top speed of 140 kilometers per hour and if you have a look at the headlight which is this uh, this is a part of the penalka doom so the standard 353 model does not come with this setup so this is one more important thing or the key feature about this motorcycle let's move on to the horn so this is a stock horn uh, which is uh, by Himanshu. Uh, the horns for Java were supplied uh, by a manufacturer called Himanshu and this is the original uh, horn which came uh, then with this motorcycle and uh, they were a Mumbai based uh, manufacturer of horns. And one of the most unique part of such motorcycles are their um, kicker which also works as a gear lever. So you lock it in and turn it out so i'm gonna just give you a demo so that becomes a kicker now and once you've started the motorcycle you put it back and then that becomes your gear lever so that is such a beautiful um, mechanism they had then and um, i'm going to give you a small demo how this motorcycle can be started with your hands as well that easy so you could start this motorcycle with your hands as well and um, this entire carburetor system is the stock original carburetor system which came with this motorcycle and also look at this this is the choke um, so during winter if the motorcycle didn't start you could just pull this out and start and that's again the stock condition and one of the most important or very unique thing about this was this is a single cylinder but you can see two exhausts coming out of it so this was the only model or probably java was the only manufacturer who gave double barrel with a single cylinder motorcycle so this is a 250 cc motorcycle and it's powered with 12 horsepower and uh, another beauty of this motorcycle so look at this uh, the wheels i'm going to tell you what's the importance of this wheel very 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 unique so they both come with 16 inch wheels and they can be interchanged so normally the motorcycles will have two different wheel sizes one would be 17 or 18 and the other would be 14 15 uh, indifference but this is the only motorcycle which came with the similar size of wheels so if the back wheel gets flattened up you can turn that into the front wheel and the front wheel can go into the back so which is phenomenal i don't know how these people could think so much in advance during those days and you know build such supreme motorcycles now let's look at the chain where is the chain i can't see the chain at all so what happens here is the chain case is there so the chain is completely packed and if you were to remove or touch the chain you had to unpack the entire chain packing so that's another task now how do we lube it so there was a solution for this also guys so when the motorcycle was running from the engine a drop used to fall on the chain to lubricate it so that the motorcycle chain is lubricated while running also and if you see there's a small droplet of oil down here that is because of the chain lubrication and it is not oil leakage this is chain lubrication guys this is what technology people had then but today even when we do every 500 kilometers you'll have to stop your vehicle lube it and then continue but here what a technology 
Now let's talk about the tank. So this is a 12 liter uh, tank capacity and uh, gives an average mileage of 25 kilometers and then that again depends upon which kind of situation are you riding in. If it's a highway probably it might just give you a kilometer or two extra. Now let's have a look at the air filter. So this is the air filter and then on the sides you have two boxes. So this one is for battery. And you have one more box on the other end side which is toolkit and your storage box. So this is the one which is a toolkit and your storage box. Let's have the look at a carburetor here. So you turn this all the way up and then you lift this. And that's the carburetor there. And uh, if you look at it, this is a Jiko uh, carburetor which came with all the Java motorcycle and uh, this is again the stock uh, carburetor which is there on this uh, motorcycle. Well that's all I had to say about this motorcycle and if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to make sure you get an update on every video I do and if you have any comments please comment below and tell me uh, what do you think about this motorcycle. If you ever had this motorcycle or your dad or your grandpa, have you got a chance to ride this motorcycle? Until the next video, stay at home. Bye bye guys.